everybody. Recently, I had a, uh, an opportunity, hopefully you watched the video, to spend a, a solo overnighter on the winter solstice last year, which has been about two weeks ago. Uh, one of the things I talked about doing was some gear reviews on some of the gear I had. I want to do one of those reviews right now, and that was on the hatchet that you saw, uh, saw me use. It's a Marbles Hunter's Axe. Uh, I mentioned in the video that I've had this axe for this hatchet for about a year now and really run it through its uh, through its course over that year. I really like it and there's a few things I'll talk about why the why I like it and some things that I really uh, they're not bad but just some things that I found that I didn't like about it. One of the things is when it came it came exactly like you see it here. Did not come with a, uh, a blade guard, did not come with a, a strike guard or anything like that. So I did recently make my own blade guard. Now I will be uh, modifying this. It just keeps that blade nice and, and sharp and keeps it from getting nicked or hit with anything. We'll be modifying a little bit to put a strap around it, but I did have to make that myself. So I'll tell you that right off. But one of the things I did enjoy is, or that I, I liked about it, is it came out of the box ready to cut. Still not quite as sharp as I really like it, but much sharper than a lot of hand axes or hatchets come uh, come standard. So that, that was one good thing about it. It does sharpen very easily. And if you recall in the winter solstice video, I talked about cutting my, uh, my thumb with barely even touching the blade after I had sharpened it. So it, it not only does it sharpen easy, it does hold a, hold an edge really well also. One of the things that I like about it also is it does come with a hickory handle which a lot, of, a lot of them do now. Most most high quality ones, uh, hatchets and axes come with the hickory. Just a good hardwood. But you can see, this is a nice contoured handle. I like the contour of it. It's just easier to, uh, to hold when I'm chopping or when I'm using it for whatever function I'm using it for, including, and I don't know, I don't think you can see it on the back here. Might try to zoom in on it. Um, on the back, you'll see a lot of marks along, along there where I've used it to as the back of it as a hammer um, and you can see in doing that I mentioned the lack of a strike guard also did hit my my handle there that's one thing I'll be adding here in the probably the next week or two is a, a strike guard so you'll see that on there overall good quality hatchet um, lightweight has a four a three and a half inch cutting uh, edge on it and um, just a good high quality uh, piece of a uh, piece of equipment to be able to use. The one key thing I like about it too is it's not a two or three hundred dollar hatchet. Most places you're going to find this hatchet for somewhere between fifty five and eighty five dollars just depending on where you buy it. So uh, uh, a couple other things I wanted to point out on it. Not that you can't add this but it did come standard uh, a nice little lanyard hole here in the end of it so you can add a lanyard to it uh, just to that'd give you a place to be able to hang it uh, at your camp or whatever the case may be. Overall, though, I highly recommend this. Once again, it's a Marbles Hunter's Axe with the caveats of the things I talked about that it did not come with. But once again, a really, really good, uh, good piece of equipment to be able to have in your toolkit. Appreciate it. Check back for more gear reviews and more outings in the near future. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Tune in regularly for more gear reviews and more of my adventures in the, uh, the wilds uh, around me. Make sure you take time to comment below in the comment section. I do my best to read as many as I can. Also, you'll see my picture over here to my left. Make sure you click that to subscribe to the channel. And over here to the right, you'll see another video to check out. Appreciate it. See you next time. Oh.